Hello Tut Stickers. Today we are going to make this sticky drippy text. So as always, go with the flow and just do it. Before we start, I want to let you know that you can create your own color palette and use it during the project. This will increase your workflow speed and improve the quality of your work. I recommend using this website for choosing your color palette because it has a wide variety of options and it's very user-friendly. You can find the link to the website in the description. Now, let's get started. Open a new composition and name it Sticky. It's better to set the frame rate to 20 and the duration to 5 seconds. From the Layers menu, create a solid layer with your desired color and name it Background. You can also add your color palette here to use it later. Using the text tool, type the letter T and center it in the frame. Duplicate the T layer by pressing Ctrl plus D. Now, animate these two letters to create space for the letter S. Pay attention to the graph and try to make the movement as pleasing as possible. Great. Now, find the CC Bender effect and apply it to the text layer. On the amount parameter, set keyframes like this to make the movement more attractive. Repeat this step for the other letter. Select the pen tool and create a stroke like this. Make sure to use the same color as the letters. Press S to bring up the scale parameter and animate it like this. Pay attention to the graphs and keyframe positions. Great, now press Ctrl plus D to create three copies of the stroke layer and place them between the two T letters like this. You can adjust their size, position, and timing to achieve an acceptable result. Now add the letter S and place it between the two T letters. Set the display time of the letter S like this. Don't worry, you can correct it later. Then select all the layers you've created and choose the pre-compose option and name it text. From the Effects and Presets window, find the Gaussian Blur effect and apply it to the text layer. I think the number 10 is enough for it. Now apply the Levels effect. Set the channel to Alpha and adjust the histogram as follows. Add the Roughness Edges effect and set the stretch to 10 for a pleasing result. You can animate the evolution option to make it more interesting. Now create the rest of the letters and place them in their respective positions. While you're at it, I'd like to ask you to kindly support us by subscribing to the Tutstick channel to stay updated on our new videos. In this step, put the strokes inside a new composition and name it Glue. Next, very carefully keyframe the position and scale of the letter I, so that it looks like it's being thrown from inside the letter T. Repeat this step for all the new letters so that they appear in order. Now it's time for the glues. Copy the glue layer several times and place it between the letters. Adjust the timing and scale as desired, but don't worry too much about this step because the effects used on the original layer won't affect the final output. 
see, it's getting exciting. To make it even better, we can choose the CC Smear option from the Effects and Presets menu and apply it to the text layer. Set the From Indicator at the bottom of the letter S and the To Indicator at the bottom of the page. Now turn on the Reach option in the Stopwatch and keyframe it like this. Pay attention to the graphs to get a better result. Finally, copy the CC Smear effect twice from the Effect Controls window and apply it to the letters U and C. Wow, fantastic job. I hope you're completely satisfied with the end result. That's it. You can now add more elements to your composition and create your own unique animation. Alright, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials like this. Until next time, stay creative.